Hello everyone, this is David, and tonight's movie that we watched was Gorgo. Now, Gorgo is an interesting film in that it is a British production, British-Irish production specifically, and uh, that's pretty unique. There aren't too many monsters, that, as I said before, that attack Britain that I'm aware of. This is the other one, the giant behemoth being the, the previous film that we watched that attacked London. And uh, this one also attacks Ireland, oddly enough. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. So let's talk about Gorgo for a moment. So Gorgo is two creatures that we're aware of. There's a baby Gorgo and a mama Gorgo. And the mama Gorgo is on the cover of everything. The, usually if you look up a picture of Gorgo, you see mama Gorgo walking around, smashing things up. And Gorgo, the, the Gorgosaurus, or whatever you want to call it, the Gorgo monster, doesn't have any real powers. It's just a big monster that walks around. It can't breathe fire. It is indestructible as far as I'm aware, but uh, it doesn't really do anything else. So it just is a big monster, it smashes things, it's a problem. It doesn't really have any of the advantages some of the crazier monsters have. It's kind of like just a tougher version of King Kong. It's a big monster with a problem. So where's Gorgo come from? So for that, we have to get into the movie. So the movie starts off with the salvage team working off of the Irish coast, and they're trying to bring up this ship that's filled with, I'm guessing, I, I think it's Viking gold, but I'm not really sure. And they're looking into it, and there's like an earthquake, and they lose some guys, and they find them later. Uh, I think one guy was in shock, or maybe they were both dead. I forget exactly. It, it's kind of hard in the subject. And they're going down there looking, and someone sees something swimming around. And they're like, whoa, whoa what was that? And he's like, I don't know. Don't want to see it again. So later that night, the baby Gorgo, uh, comes ashore and it starts attacking this this village that they're hanging out in because the earthquake or storm or whatever it was that happened it's kind of vague if I remember correctly um, just like wrecks their ship not wrecks it but like damages it so they need to repair it so they're in there and they're like well you can only stay a night and they're like that's kind of weird we're gonna need three days but anyway so that night the baby Gorgo comes ashore and starts causing shit and it doesn't look that big so you're like okay that's that's not that big it's like it's like 50 feet tall, it, or maybe like 30 feet tall. It's not it's not huge, but it's big enough to cause some damage. So it's walking around, and they chase it off with with fire and sticks, which is impressive, because most kaiju aren't, don't afraid of nothing. And this one's just like, oh no, sticks, I'm going to run away. So they drive back in the ocean, and then the captain goes, you know what? We, uh, we need to catch that thing, because that'd be awesome. And he's, well, he's not really. He's like, we're going to take that off your hands. Because giant monsters are a problem, and we can get rid of that for you. And so they do. And they go down, they lure him. They lure Gorgo out with a, like a bathode tube or a bathosphere. Yeah, bathosphere, that's what they are. They have like a little dangly uh, thing that you can put a person in and send it down. Although I don't know why they needed a person in there. I don't know how Gorgo can tell. But anyway, Gorgo comes out and grabs it, and they throw a net on him, and the net catches him. Again, very unimpressive in terms of kaiju abilities. And they bring him up, and they tie him down on the ship, and then they get word, hey, Island heard about what you're doing, because they radio it in, and we want to claim Gorgo for Ireland. And the scientists come in and are looking at him, and it's all cool, and they're like, yeah, sure, we'll bring him to Ireland. Meanwhile, on the radio, this guy in London is like, I'll give you a, like a bunch of money if you bring him in. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll get right to Ireland. Going to London. So they drive over to London, and the Irish are pissed. They're like, we're going to sue you for, you know, whatever. Stealing our monster. And he's like, whatever, you can do, you can go, you can go screw off. Ireland, we're English, we don't care about you. So, it's pretty funny. And so they're putting them on display, and they're bringing them, they have this big prop of a Gorgo that they bring through. Not an actual prop in the movie, it's the actual monster, but... In real life, it was a prop, and they're driving it through the streets, which it must have been kind of cool to watch film. Like, I'd be kind of, as a kid, I'd be kind of cool watching, like, looking out the window and just seeing a monster drive down the road. That'd be kind of cool. But, so they're driving this thing around, and they bring it to the circus, and they're putting him on display like he's, like he's King Kong. And you know from there, something's going to go wrong. And it cuts back to that, the place that, that they found the Gorgo, and Mama is pissed. And she comes out, and she just flattens the town. And she's way bigger, and she just destroys everything. And then they're talking, and they're like, these paleontologists come in, and they're like, so, about your monster, so we've been doing some, some research, and your monster 
it's not a, it's not full grown. And they're like, what do you mean it's not full grown? It's huge. And they're like, yeah, well, from what we understand, it's a baby. And we're going to show you these pictures of two different skeletons. So this is the baby, and it's this little tiny thing. And this is the mama, and it's like huge. It's like four times, five times as big. And you're like, oh, that's pretty big. This is going to be a problem. And they're like, and then convenience man comes in and is like, hey, by the way, we lost uh, we lost contact with that place you guys were just at where you got the mama gorgo, so or the baby gorgo, and so that's a problem. So then they're like, oh shit, mama's coming. Well, they start having attacks. Like mama, mama starts attacking chips on the way to to England from Ireland. So they're starting to get capsized, and they send out they send out military ships to deal with it. And uh, nothing's working. Nothing ever works. They they de- they depth charge it, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we totally got him. We depth charged him, and he didn't come back up." It's like, "Yes, you depth charged the underwater monster underwater, and didn't see a body, and you got him." So, long story short, he destroys all, or she destroys all the ships. It's really vague if it's a mom or a father, but you kind of get the impression it's the mother. But it could be either. There's no real way of telling. So anyway, so Mama gets to London, and. They try everything, you know. They, they hit them with shit like rockets, guns, bombs, everything, and it's just tromping around the city, just wrecking, wrecking face. It knocks down Big Ben. It, it just tramples all the London like landmarks. Gets to its baby, goes, stomps the baby's cage. They have it like this pit. It, it just closes the pit so the baby can. It like stomps the pit so the baby can walk out, and then the the mother and the baby just walk off into the into the uh, water and they go home uh, ideally so a happy ending for the monsters in this one very rare that that happens usually it ends on some sort of they fall in the ocean and are mystically gone or they get blown up or you know plot convenience killed or something like that but in this one the monsters just go home it, which is um, which is pretty interesting all things considered actually now that I'm thinking about it this movie reminds me of a of a more recent movie uh, that was made for television called uh, Gargantua that uh, happened very similar plot there's a they capture a baby monster and then there's a mother and a father monster and it's kind of an interesting it, it's very similar to this more better special effects but eh not not for the time like it was made back in like I think the late 90s right around the time the the new Godzilla movie came out and I remember watching it and saying, oh, these special effects are okay, but they're nothing great. But yeah, so anyway, back to Gorgo. So that's Gorgo, in a nutshell. It's an okay film. It's it's different. It's not great as a kaiju film, but in terms of what it does, it does okay. It is basically Godzilla for England. I mean, Gorgo's not made from radiation, it's not radioactive, and it's not an allegory for anything. But if you want a monster movie for your country, this isn't a terrible entry. Uh, if you're there for, like, the interesting or unique kaiju, uh, this one really hasn't got much going for it in those terms. It doesn't have any powers that I've noticed, and other than just being really big and indestructible, as all that kaiju seem to be, it's just sort of there. Um... It's a natural creature, not created by man, not prehistoric, really. It just kind of lives at the bottom of the ocean. And, uh, yeah, just kind of hanging out. Um, I recommend this one if you want something a little different. You want a monster attack in different landmarks. But in the end, it's okay. Uh, again, nothing nothing super special. Um, it's, it's a fun romp the first time, but I don't think it has a lot of rewatch value. It's not really all that funny. Uh, I think MST3K made fun of it. So if you want to check it out, if, you, if you're if you not sure you like it, check out the MST3K version. And then if you really liked it from there, check out the, the actual movie and see if you like that. But uh, you got some options on this one. Uh, I think it's okay. You could definitely watch it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, good night, folks.